It's now official. Defender Joe Roden has joined French club Rennes on loan with an option to make the move permanent. Spurs are now open to offers for another six players. Newcastle have improved their bid for Spurs target James Madison. Christian Eriksen has revealed on how close he was to joining Tottenham Hotspur this summer. Villarreal want to sign Giovanni Lo Celso on loan with an option to buy. And Antonio Conte on his contract situation. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Let's start by talking about an official statement released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Monday afternoon, all about defender Joe Roden. It states that Joe Roden has joined Wren on loan for the 2022-2023 season with an option to make the move permanent. The Wales international defender made nine appearances for us in all competitions last term, including playing against Wren in the Europa Conference League in September, taking his total to 24 since joining us from Swansea in October 2020. The 24-year-old played a key role alongside teammate Ben Davis in helping Wales qualify for the World Cup for the first time since 1958 with a playoff victory over Ukraine in June. He is now up to 27 caps. The Evening Standard have also published an article about Joe Roden's departure, uh, but in the article it goes on to talk about six other players possibly leaving the club this summer. It says that meetings with AC Milan have been held over a potential move for Jabatanganga, as well as with Sampdoria over Brian Hill, but none of Tongion Dombele, Harry Wink, Sergio Reglon or Giovanni Lo Celso were part of Tottenham's pre-season tour of South Korea, and the club remain open to offers for these four players. Now, in the last couple of weeks, certainly, there has been lots of speculation linking James Madison to a move to Spurs this summer. Uh, Fabrizio Romano, the Italian journalist and transfer expert, has just provided the following update on James Madison and says that Newcastle have improved their bid for the midfielder, £50 million add-ons included. Brendan Rodgers, the Leicester City manager, has come out and said he is really pivotal to us. There is no way I would want to sell him. £40 million bid. I think it might just cover three quarters of his left leg. Former Tottenham Hotspur star and current midfielder with Manchester United, Christian Eriksen, has revealed when he played for Spurs, he spoke to a number of Manchester United managers about joining uh, them at Old Trafford. He said, when I was at Spurs, I spoke to every manager who's been here at Manchester United to see what the situation was. So it's been on the books. Well, not on the books, but it's been spoken about for a while. Ericsson then went on to say, for me, then wasn't the time to move. I was at Spurs for a long time and wanted to try something abroad. So I went into Milan and ended up having a lovely time there. But then obviously something happened in the summer uh, and that changed the career path I had in mind. So I came back to England, to Brentford, first of all. To be here at Manchester United is something I didn't think could happen a year ago. I never thought it was going to happen. Ericsson then revealed why he didn't rejoin Tottenham Hotspur this summer and Antonio Conte. He said Spurs never really came in for anything, so it wasn't really a thing for me to go back to Tottenham at the time. And Manchester United were in very early on, very positive, and I had good conversations with them. It was very positive from the first few phone calls already, and the club felt that they wanted me, so it was on for a long time. A report has just been published by Spanish publication Marsa and they are stating that Villarreal have submitted a loan plus 15 million euro option to buy deal for Tottenham Hotspur and Argentina international Giovanni Lo Celso. 
Now, last week, we heard the good news that Ben Davis has signed a brand new contract at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Well, head coach Antonio Conte has said the following about the situation. Ben Davis deserved to sign a new contract at Spurs because last season he played in an outstanding way and he is a great guy. To have a player like him in your starting eleven or on the bench at this level is very important. Antonio Conte then went on to talk about his own contract situation and said, if the idea continues to be this way, I will have zero problems to continue my life in Tottenham. I stay well, I like this group of players, and I have a good relationship with Fabio Prasci and Daniel Levy. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, um, but let me start by just saying a big apology for not uploading these uh, longer versions of Tottenham news on a regular basis, certainly in the last month or so. It's been a very, very busy few weeks. Of course, I went to South Korea to follow Spurs in their two pre-season friendlies there, um, then went to Glasgow, uh, just come back from Israel, um, really enjoyed pre-season, uh, watching the four matches, um, but it has just been a time thing. I've been trying to keep up to date with my day job as well, as well as doing these YouTube videos, which I thoroughly enjoy doing. Um, but also let me take uh, this opportunity of thanking every single one of you for subscribing to this channel, uh, because when I got on the plane back from South Korea, we had just hit 75,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. So I cannot thank all of you enough for all of your tremendous support and all of the messages I've received as well during pre-season. It is absolutely um, incredible, as I say. Um, but I will be um, uploading these longer versions um, on a daily basis again. I will definitely make time uh, to do so. Um, so looking forward to it. Now, the Joe Roden one, joining Wren on loan with an option to make the move permanent. I am not at all surprised by this. The amount of appearances that Joe Roden has made in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt, and bearing in mind he has been at the club for nearly two years. Um, he has probably played for, for Wales uh, more in that two-year period than he has done in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. And he's played under various different managers at Spurs as well, and none of them have really given him uh, a real run in the team um, consistently. So uh, for his own sake, of course, Wales are in the World Cup for the first time in many, many years. He will want to be playing regular first-team football. He will want to be part of that World Cup competition at the end of the calendar year in November and December. So wishing him all of the very best. Now, Newcastle have improved their bid for Spurs target James Madison. Um, now, I have many journalists on this uh, channel on a regular basis, and I always ask them, you know, particularly recently um, about James Madison, any chance of Spurs signing him. Um, now, Sky Sports today have stated that Leicester City would actually entertain a bid of around £60 million. So will Tottenham Hotspur put a cheeky bid in of £60 million? Because we may just get uh, the player that a lot of the fans want. And uh, I've been told many, many times that Spurs have liked the player for some time. Now, big shame about Christian Eriksen not rejoining Tottenham. Um, I was pretty gutted, actually. You do feel gutted. Uh, I would feel so much better about if Christian Eriksen actually stayed at Brentford or he joined a European club uh, and didn't play in the Premier League. Um, it does bother me, I won't lie. It does bother me the fact that he has gone to Manchester United because I know that he is a fantastic player. He was one of my favourite players when he was at Spurs. And, uh, and sadly, um, for us Tottenham fans, I think that he will actually do extremely well at Old Trafford. So um, I'm a little bit frustrated by that one. And of course, there's a month left of the transfer window. Spurs open to offers for another six players, including Giovanni Lo Celso. Villarreal want to sign him again on loan with an option to buy for next season. I think it's just a matter now of Tottenham Hotspur trying to get as much money as possible uh, for these types of players. Um, Tonkion Dombele, that, that one's going to be an interesting one as well. Where will he end up next season? Because these players clearly have no future under Antonio Conte. And talking about futures and talking about Antonio Conte, he has actually come out and said about his own contract and his own future at Spurs. I tell you what, um, if you watch this channel on a regular basis or listen to this uh, podcast on a reg regular basis, you will know that I'm a huge fan of Antonio Conte. Absolutely love the guy, adore the guy. What he achieved last season was absolutely magical from taking us from those very, very dark and low times under Nuno Espirito Santo at the end of October. Conte come in early November. Yes, it was a bit rocky, even under Conte at first. Um, but... 
He got the best out of every single player and he guided us to Champions League football, which, of course, we will play uh, this coming season. The draw, by the way, is on the 25th of August, something I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, but, you know, Conte achieved so much last season and I'm very, very excited about this coming season of what Conte can um, achieve and deliver. Hoping for a trophy, hoping for... Um, you know, uh, a chance of even pushing Manchester City and Liverpool for the Premier League and being up there and competing, um, you know, against the very, very best um, in the top four. So I'm hoping uh, that Antonio Conte will be a Tottenham Hotspur head coach for many, many years to come. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.